Okay, you guys are about to get access to some super secret information. Okay, when I say super secret, I'm going to be telling you the three main attraction triggers that make a woman want to sleep with a guy. Okay, now you need to make me one promise. Since I'm giving you access to this kind of information, since I'm putting you up on this level, okay, I, I need you to promise me that you're not going to use this for evil and that you're only going to use this for good. Meaning these things that I'm telling you, you're only going to use this on women that you actually have a genuine connection and or chemistry with. Okay, so if you can do that, I want you to comment the word I promise below. Because these three specific attraction triggers that actually make a woman want to sleep with a guy, when I show you these, I'm going to be taking you through my own real life experience. Okay, when I say real life experience... I'm not the biggest, like, I'm not some biology whiz. I'm not some evolutionary psychology nerd who sits and researches this shit all day. Like, I'm telling you, like, I'm Casey, and I'm sharing you my experiences from the things that I've learned and seen over the years. Okay, here's the cool thing, too. If you stick with me until the end, I'm going to even give you a little bonus tip to make this even easier. But nevertheless, let's dive in. The very first reason, okay, the very first way that you can tell if a woman wants to sleep with a guy, the very first thing that majority of them are going to display is a need for validation. See, here's what you have to understand. Women will oftentimes only sleep with you or desire to sleep with you if doing so elevates her status in any way, shape, or form where it now feels like a win for her. I wanted to add this in to add to this point too to make this hit home but like look at social media and the internet right now what are guys addicted to okay guys are typically addicted to really bad slash dirty vulgar websites what are women typically like really into social media taking pictures of themselves taking selfies right getting attention getting likes getting validation okay the girl that you like already knows Okay, that you probably want to sleep with her. The only way she's going to fulfill what you want, okay, and I'm not saying you should be addicted to these websites. I'm trying to make a point so you understand, you know, the dynamics between both. The only way you're going to get what you want, what you want, is if she gets what she wants. So if it doesn't feel like validation, if it doesn't feel like a win for her and validates her, it's typically not going to happen. That's why I put this as point number one. You see, the last thing a girl wants is to feel like she was won over too easy or to feel like you're some sort of like low value dude. Okay. A lot of guys miss this part when they're actually interacting with girls is they don't understand that oftentimes when women do decide to sleep with you, it's just a need to feel validated the same way that, you know, girls will crave attention, so on and so forth. Okay. This is going to be the biggest driving factor. And I'm even going to fill in a little point for you on this. Okay. This is a real story. When I was in my early 20s, okay, I'll never forget this. There was a girl that I was seeing, okay, and specifically I felt as if we didn't vibe or we didn't really have like that sort of connection and I didn't want to really see her anymore. So the last time I saw her, I told her this, that I don't think it's a good fit and I don't think that we should continue seeing each other. Okay, so what you could see is since I verbally like basically said I'm, I don't want you, okay, I pushed away the interaction, so to speak, that like literally flipped a switch in her head where instantly she was basically begging me to sleep with her right then and there. Like we're talking almost on the verge of tears, right? She was trying to all of a sudden strip down and take her clothes off. This is stuff that I saw physically. Like I physically saw this with my own eyes. And it's because once that validation or that approval is no longer there or it's been removed or that attention is starting to be removed and they are no longer validated, they typically want you even more. So you have to remember this going in. Women want a reason to sleep with a guy. It could be for a variety of reasons. It could be your status. It could be what you do for a living. It could be that you're in really good shape, right? It could be that you're well-known and have a reputation for X, Y, or Z. It doesn't matter, right? You have to make sure that you frame your value. Every single, in any, any interaction or any date as a win for her. If it doesn't feel like it's mutually beneficial and a win for her, nine times out of 10, it will not go anywhere, Okay, that is the first and biggest reason. That is the biggest attraction trigger. That is a driving force why a woman is going to want to sleep with you. Okay, this brings me to point number two. Okay, point number two is going to be overall competition anxiety. And rest assured, I'm going to explain this point better than anybody that you have seen on the entire internet. Okay, when it comes to competition anxiety, a woman's biggest fear Okay, is you falling in love with somebody else besides her. 
So you're going to notice with women, it's oftentimes not even like the intimacy that they're worried about that you would have with another girl, okay, or you guys sleeping together. What it usually is, is the fear of that man falling in love with that other woman. So I'm going to give you an example, okay? Like I said, I'm not some biology geek. I'm not some biology nerd, okay? But what I can tell you is that the risk of pregnancy for women, obviously, is that if pregnancy were to occur, okay, she's going to now have to carry that man's child for nine months, which is close to a year. The last thing that she wants, right, on on an evolutionary biological way, the last thing that she wants is to not have access to resources, help, care, provisioning, raising that child. This is super important to get across. So the last thing that a woman wants, right, if you are a man of value, if you do have something going for yourself, if you are a man of status, if you are the type of guy she would feel validated by sleeping with, the last thing she wants is for you to fall in love with a different woman besides her, okay? If women see that other women are already interested in you, this is going to be the biggest driving factor for them to sleep with you with you quick due to the fact that what they're actually trying to do is they're trying to lock you down and start to get you emotionally invested in them not just from a chemistry level not just from a sexual level we are talking specifically on a human to human level she wants you to now like her okay if you can understand how to leverage competition anxiety what's going to happen is that you might actually have more options in the long run and here's what i would recommend doing If this is your first time hearing about terms like this, such as the need for validation, competition anxiety, when this video is over, what I recommend you doing is going down below and watching my MBT webinar. Okay, MBT, I put together a little Christmas special for you. I put together a little Christmas package, right? I take you through an exact step-by-step process where I teach these topics even further, Okay, and by the end of it, you're going to actually have the opportunity to get all of these successes in your life to totally transform your dating life, just like all of the pictures and all of the clients that I've had over the years that you're probably seeing up on the board right now. Nevertheless, what's the third? And then how can I even transition this into a bonus point for you? Okay, the third point that is a huge driving factor that makes a woman want to sleep with a guy is that she wants kids. I know, shocker, right? But sleeping with a guy can lead to pregnancy. So think about this for a second. A woman's biological clock is consistently ticking, okay? And this is what I noticed, okay? Ultimately, like, when (laughs) the older I got, the more I noticed that women, like, if I would date women who are a bit older, like, let's say anywhere from 24 to all of a sudden uh, 28, they're always talking about kids or they always want kids, Okay, and the reason being is because if she doesn't have kids yet, that's what her body is telling her to do is to procreate. Now, here's what I can tell you, okay? This is why I've always advised guys on this channel to max out traits that are more alpha, okay? Like dominance factors such as like the way you speak, the tonality, the strength in your tone, how you look, okay? How you like going to the gym, building a really strong, powerful physique. All that shit is super important. Okay. The reason why it's important is because that's direct cues oftentimes for intimacy, right? Or for potentially like her wanting to sleep with you. Okay. But the second half of that is the provisioning side. Now you're going to get tons of YouTube channels, tons of these red pill channels that say, if you, if you have provisioning characteristics, yeah, it automatically makes you some beta male provider that could not be further from the truth. And here's why when you have two sides of the coin, Okay, not only do you have certain cues that are going to lead to high high attraction, but you also have cues that would make a woman want to stick with you if she could lock you down. That's going to be the biggest twist to her hypergamy. Okay, that means that you're going to retain women for far longer. So I'll give you an example. When I was really young in my early 20s, Okay, I had a really good physique, but I was in my early 20s. Like, I basically just looked like a pretty boy. I was broke. Okay, I had six-pack abs, and, like, I got a lot. Like, it was very easy for me to sleep with a woman. Okay, but what I noticed is that there oftentimes wasn't, like, that that view that she had in her head where it would go anywhere, and it was just fun for both of us. Okay, that's just how it was. The older I got, the more that I realized women really start to look for 
you know, making sure that a guy has his eyes dotted and T's crossed on the back end. And on the back end, meaning how is your life set up? How is your job opportunities? How is your career going? Those things are equally as important for a woman to want to invest in you. So it's best to have both sides. You can retain the women that you're seeing far longer. These are the biggest cues that I recommend that you look into. And if you even want to take this a step further, okay, here's what you have to remember. The biggest bonus point that you have to remember with all of this is that there has to be some primal level of desire or primal level of attraction. So the way that you can always ask yourself, hey, am I doing the things as a man that I should be doing? Okay, you want to really ask yourself this. If we didn't have modern day survival, if we didn't have modern day housing, if we didn't have modern day technology, what would be my modern day? Okay, or what would be my primal instincts for how to survive as a man? This would probably include things like is there food? Is there shelter? Right? Hunting, provisioning, things like that. The bare traits for a man building is what led to survival, which means bonus point number four, you need to always be building. There's nothing more attractive to a woman in the long run than a guy who's constantly building something. And I don't care if you're building your business. I don't care if you're building your physique in the gym. I don't care if you're building your skills on the jujitsu mat. Whatever it is, I don't care. The key is that you have to be building. And when you understand not only those three attraction triggers, but you also understand the power in building and what that does on an evolutionary level, you are going to far surpass everybody else who is not taking this kind of stuff seriously. So guys, I hope that you like this video. Check out the MBT uh, little Christmas special that I put down below for you. It's going until New Year's. I think you're really going to like it. Hit the like button, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.